Uh, if I could describe Angelic in one word. Awesome. Ambitious. Amazing. Resilient. My name is Angelica Wardell. My nickname is Jelly. I'm from Washington, D.C. from Southeast. I've been born and raised there my entire life. I went to D.C. public schools my entire life as well. I went to the Business and Finance Academy at H.D. Wilson. It's mainly focused on like the business world, the corporate world. I taught her to learn, to study. In order to get where you want to go, you got to be able to get a good education. You got to go far in life, but education is the key. She, you know, is a child who lives in the southeast area of Washington, D.C., where you have a lot of crime, um, there's a lot of adversity, a lot of peer pressure. For her to be able to hold true to who she wanted to be and not fall victim um, to the things that surrounded her, that how could that not be amazing? I'm a straight A student. I like having good grades. It makes everything easier. It allows me to network with different people and give me opportunities. You know, just to get my voice out there, because maybe I can help other students just get into high school to achieve just like I did. I was number two and she was number one, and we would just look, look at her GPA and I'd just be like, how am I ever going to catch up to her GPA? In junior high school and elementary school, I was salutatorian, and I just didn't like being second anymore. I wanted to be number one. The drive for me to become number one came from basketball. I was the smallest one on the team, so I had to play even harder to compete with the tall girls and I had to jump even higher to get the ball, so. She has a plan, and she goes through with that plan, like, no matter what. I got to become valedictorian because I'm a very hard worker. I study very hard, I'm intelligent, but intelligence doesn't get you very far if you don't have like friends to support you, to give you encouraging words, to push you forward. I kept my mentors around me to keep me encouraged, keep me focused. Angelica often doesn't tell me things. She'll like say it just like in passing. She texted me and she said, can you come tomorrow? By the way, it's my graduation. I think she kind of expects these things of herself, so she, it's kind of last, last minute. Oh yeah, by the way, valedictorian, I'm graduating tomorrow. <laughs> It was just great to see my baby walk across the stage as valedictorian straight A's, and she had a great speech. I've learned from Angelica to continue to stay true to me, to stay focused on goals that I've set for myself, to continue to aspire to be better. I think that um, she's not afraid to go against the grain. With young people, a lot of times they follow the crowd. She's cool enough. <laughs> um, to get, to get by in the neighborhood, but you know, she goes home, she does her homework. It is really important to her. She knows there's challenges that she has to get over. Math is not her strongest subject, and instead of spending this summer you know, going out and partying because she's about to leave D.C., you know, she gets a math tutor. I think finding adults to help support her goals, I think that if there's a young person and they're hanging around you, there's probably a reason why, and you need to ask them questions, figure out how you can help them. My name is Angelica Wardell, and I graduated from D.C. Public Schools. 